This is the story of John Doyle Lee and the Mountain Meadows Massacre. John Doyle Lee was born on September 12, 1812 in Kaskaskia, Illinois Territory. When he, when he was three years old, his mother died of lingering illnesses. Due to his father's problems with alcohol, John lived with his uncle from ages 6 to 17. While living with his uncle, he worked as a mail carrier, managed his uncle's farm, and worked as a store clerk. He then moved to Vandalia, Illinois in 1833, where he met and married Agatha Ann Woolsey on July 24. After the wedding, they moved to Fayette County, Illinois. They were baptized as adults into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the Mormon Church, on June 17, 1838. We asked Mr. Sean Joyce Whip, a theology instructor at Creighton Prep High School, to tell us about how Mormon Mormons were recruited. The Mormons are among the fastest growing religions in the world today. They are very good at attracting new followers. I think they do this in a couple of ways. Number one, uh, they have lots of children. <laughs> they create new Mormons through birth. Uh, number two, I think it's a real priority for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to be an example of good people who care for each other. Um, Mormon families tend to be very close, and Mormon communities also tend to be very close, caring for each other in times of need, struggle, illness, and so on. Um, this, I think, is a very attractive thing to lots of people around the world. And finally, I think they attract new believers by spreading the good news. And young people, especially in the Mormon church, do this. Um, they serve males and females when they graduate from high school. They tend to go on a mission that lasts for two years. That might be at some location other than home in the United States, or it might be in a country some other place in the world. And during these two years after high school, before college, the mission of the young person is very simple, and that is to preach the good news, to tell people about Jesus Christ and about the Book of Mormon, and to invite people to join their community. Due to persecution, the Lee family and most Mormons gradually moved west. Their first stop was the town of Far West, Missouri, the Mormon headquarters. But soon, the governor of Missouri issued an extermination order threatening the lives of Mormons, and they were forced to leave, settling down in Nauvoo, Illinois. John Doyle Lee created his first mission, worked as a police officer, and built the town's meeting hall. In 1844, he campaigned for Joseph Smith, the first Mormon prophet in his run for presidency, and then worked as a bodyguard for the second prophet, Brigham Young. We asked Mr. Joyce Whip about how Young became the second prophet. Uh, I don't know the exact answer to this question, except that Brigham Young was a good leader and people followed him. Uh, when Joseph Smith died in 1844 in prison, uh, the people automatically sort of began uh, looking up to Brigham Young as a leader. And in 1846, because the Mormons were experiencing lots of religious persecution, um, persecution for their beliefs, he began moving people westward across the United States from Illinois toward Salt Lake City, which is where they eventually paused. In early 1846, Lee and his family moved again to Winter Quarters, Nebraska, where the Mormons have built their new headquarters, and finally, they arrived in Utah 
in September of that year. There he helped found the town of Provo. He worked as a judge, a delegate to the legislature, and as an agent with Indian Affairs. Our last question for Mr. Joyce Whip was about the differences between Mormonism and Catholicism. Catholics and LDS, they're just different religious groups, and so they have different beliefs and different practices. An example of a difference in belief is that the Mormons think that the Book of Mormon is a holy book, and they believe that it was written by the ancient prophets, um, the same prophets that are in the Bible, like Isaiah and Jeremiah and Hosea. Um, Catholics don't believe this. They don't think that the Book of Mormon is a holy book, and they don't think that it was written by the ancient prophets that we find in the Bible. Fear and paranoia due to so many years of persecution and hate towards Mormons is thought to have led to became known as the Mountain Meadows Massacre of 1857. Disguised as Native Americans, 50 to 60 militia men murdered about 120 emigrants traveling from Arkansas to California. The criminals only spared 17 children. It took place at Mountain Meadows near Cedar City, Utah. A monument was built there to remember the emigrants who died. John Doyle Lee was supposed to have done much of the killing. He was executed at the site of the massacre on March 23, 1877.